you were 26 years old, you're 30 years old now, yeah. um, at 26, and a little bit before, you've previously said, that you've, yeah. you've always known, I don't want kids. Exactly. Um, you, you've, you want to state, you've said, I don't hate kids, I just <laughs> don't want them. Exactly. And that's, that's a woman's right to choose whether she doesn't want to have kids. Exactly. But why do you want to go to the extreme of being sterilised? I think essentially because I'm so certain that I don't want kids, that I don't want the possibility of getting pregnant. And I think a lot of women who don't want kids know how stressful it is every month to get worried that you're going to fall pregnant, that you're going to have to make a decision that you don't, you don't want to deal with. And I think at this point in my life, I've, I've worried enough about it that I don't really want to have that. I just don't want that stress anymore. It's put me through so much emotional, psychological stress. I just, I just want to close the door on it. Now, I know immediately there will be people saying, oh, yes, but you're still young <laughs> and you're not married. And there'll be a man, you'll meet a man, you'll fall yeah. desperately in love, and then you'll go, oh, actually, I do want children, I mm. really do. So how... Why are you so convinced that you well, don't want children? Well, I think it's interesting that people always ask women who don't want kids how they know they're not going to change their minds in 10 years. You don't say to someone who's about to have a child, how do you know you still want to want that kid in 10 years from now? That's a you fair know? point. Nobody says that. But, you know, we don't, we don't take women seriously when they make the opposite choice, which I think is a bit strange. And in terms of meeting somebody and kind of changing my mind, I think if I met someone that wanted a child, that's not something... Because you have got a boyfriend. I do, yeah. yeah and exactly. he knows exactly how I feel. You know, he's known me since long before all of this. But so I think... I think that's not going to change my opinion. You know, you can't, you can't compromise on children. So if he decides he wants kids one day, said, it's said. over, it's done. You know, you and Zach, you've known each other for a while, but you've yeah. been dating for a few months. He doesn't want kids at the moment either, but if he did, yeah. you'd break up with him. Yeah, mm. and he knows that. But, he knows what that. but what if Zach's the love of your life? <laughs> but you can't, you can't compromise on a child. Mm. You can't have a child that you don't want for the sake of somebody else. That child will suffer, it's not fair. And do you know, could, can you explain why you don't want children? It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's kind of like asking someone again why they do. Mm. You, it's just a gut feeling, it's an emotional gut feeling that you have. You can kind of rationalise it and say, you know, the lifestyle doesn't appeal to me, I think it's an awful lot of work I do. I think I have endless respect for people who manage all of that on no sleep, mm. essentially, mm. but it's just something I know I don't want, and every time I think about it, it's something deep inside me just goes, never, ever. So when you me. were then going to, at age 26, mm -hmm. went to your GP and said, right, you know, I've been thinking about this for a long time. This is not a decision made lightly no, overnight. No, researched it very well. Researched it very well. Uh, you know, you're a journalist, you've looked into this. Mm -hmm. um, what was the reaction you got? <laughs> it's just a straight up no. No, never, never going to happen. And what uh, was the reason they gave you? Well, it's, it's you're too young, you're going to change your mind, it's too drastic. You know, they, they essentially just didn't believe me that I felt that strongly and they, they would rather put you on something reversible which I understand, but again, that gives you a lot of psychological stress you don't need, and actually, I don't react so what do you, well. Sorry, what do you mean? So w w people would be saying, well, why can't you just use contraception? They well, won't I do. get pregnant. I do, I'm yeah. on the pill, but I'm on a very high-dose pill because that's the only one that works for me, which makes me ill, mm. which means I have to take up NHS time with side effects, which is unnecessary because I don't need the option of having children. And so I think this, everybody imagines that the pill works for everybody and it's all wonderful. I think that's not the case. You know, you're pumping a lot of hormones into your body, and if you don't need the option of turning that off and having a child, why would you put yourself There's through There's condoms, it? which is a man's responsibility, which not yours. It's very risky. <laughs> Even yeah. if you use them perfectly, it's still risky. Mm. And it's but just a bigger risk than I want to take. This has all changed very recently. Yes. Um, as Ruth said, you are a journalist and you've <laughs> written about your your wants and your needs yeah. and your experience over mm -hmm. the past couple of years. And it wasn't until you went to see a GP specialist that you actually gave him yeah. your, your All the articles examples. Yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to do it. I mean, I kind of almost did it as an experiment where I, I spoke to her and said, you know, I, I want to be sterilised. I keep asking for this. They keep saying, no, it's been three years. And she, she said, no, absolutely not. And so I said, well, look. <laughs> so I kind of pulled out this, this giant watch of stuff and kind of went, look, look how much I've written about this. Look how seriously I feel. And she said, OK, I can see actually you mean this. You've clearly thought it through. And I kind of thought, well, it's good that I've progressed to the next stage now, but on the other hand, what are other women supposed to do? Would you have thought about doing this privately? Because obviously there will be, I know, you know, and you've been trolled a lot. Yes. We, you know, those people, <laughs> we don't even like to give them airtime because then they're, you know, they're, they're vile to you. But there must be morning. people with, with, with comments so who say, well, <laughs> this is a lifestyle choice. Why yes. should the NHS pay for you to be sterilised? I understand that argument, but on the one hand, it's going to save the NHS money. It's actually keep, uh, cheaper than keeping me on, um, on contraception and keep treating me for the side effects. It's cheaper than, obviously, having a child on the NHS it's cheaper than IVF and all sorts of other things that the NHS offers so actually over the long term it will save them money over keeping me on the pill which no one seems to dispute you know nobody's mm. unhappy with them paying for the pill so I don't really understand why this is different the lifestyle choice argument is a silly one if you ask me because having children is a lifestyle choice like that both should be equally respected surely why is mm. one more okay than the other is there any doubt 
in your mind? I know it's <laughs> I know it's the million dollar question, and yeah. you're like, no, one hundred percent not. Yeah. But like Bruce said, if mm. something happens over the next few years, and you, I mean you're due to now go and have this done in the next couple of yeah, months, yeah, hopefully yeah, for you. Great, um, <laughs> if you have this done, and say a year, ten years down the line, you sit there and think, oh, I actually. I wish Actually I had done that. Yeah. I know. I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind right now. But then again, obviously, people over time change and evolve, and you you don't think the same things at 30 as you thought. Are you worried 20, about so changing? Possible. Not at all worried. <laughs> I'm honestly, not worried. But other people seem to be very worried for me. So to reassure those people, uh, there's always the option of adoption. Although obviously, it's not easy to come by. Mm. Um, I could always adopt. IVF still works if you've had your tube side. But yeah, yeah. I obviously, I wouldn't do it on the NHS. Um, so you're saying very you know you, you've had some abuse on, online and things. But what about your family? What about support? Oh, my around fantastic. you close to you everybody in my family has been fantastic my mum is very much the same as me and that she didn't want children she had them because i think it was kind of a different time <gasps> she said that to you oh yeah mm. <laughs> my mum is my so mom i is find that incredible it. when somebody says to their own child <laughs> i didn't really want children well yeah she said it because i said mum i don't really want kids and she said yeah i know how you feel i felt the same <laughs> well very quickly i know you said you've been getting a lot of abuse online yeah. i just want to read this one out this is from Anne, um and i think this is really important she says surely a woman who has taken the decision not to bring any more unwanted children into the world should be praised and not criticized i'm sure she has not taken this decision lightly Absolutely. um last word what, what have you got to say? Yeah, is she's it... absolutely right. No one has an operation for fun. I'm not doing it. because If I wasn't 100% certain, I wouldn't do it. People need to take women who don't want kids seriously. There's nothing suspicious about it. There's nothing weird about it. There's loads of us out there, and I get emails from people all the time. So I think it, just don't patronise people if they say that to you. It's a fair choice, and it's one that should be respected just as much as having kids. Well, we wish you all the best. Put. Beautifully put. Thank <laughs> you, Holly. It's very interesting. <laughs>